Hi there, this is Amber Buzzard, a territory manager with Pioneer in South Texas. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about an agronomic issue that we're starting to see here along the upper Gulf Coast of Texas. Um, we're starting to see some uh, rhizoctonia root rot. So wanted to just talk to you for a minute about that, um, give you some scouting tips and just uh, let you know what to be on the lookout as you're out looking at some corn right now. Um, Rhizoctonia root rot is actually made up of several complex species of fungi and it resides on uh, plant residue or within the soil. Um, it's, it's favored by very warm and wet and poorly drained soils. And many of our soils down here this year have been very wet and a lot of them have been waterlogged for several months. Um, starting all the way through the fall and through the winter, we were very, very wet. So not really any surprise that we're starting to see this in some of the very low lying areas of the field. Um, what it does is it weakens the stalk and then it allows the plants to become susceptible to lodging. Um, Premature plant death is very common, especially right now when it's in this growing stage. Uh, right now we're at about V4, V5 growing stage. Um, and these plants uh, that are showing symptoms of root rot are a little bit stunted compared to some of the other plants in the field. Um, but being that the, the premature plant death is so common, sometimes yield losses can be as high as 15 to 20 percent within any given field. I did pull these samples. Um, I'm going to send these pl uh, plant samples and root samples into the lab just to make sure that that's exactly what it is. But these are showing very common symptoms of root rot. Um, you can see here on this stalk, you can see the purpling of the stalk. You can see where these leaves have uh, desiccated and are dying. And basically the, the entire plant itself is dying at this point. Um, this plant here is pretty much dead. There's not a whole lot of root system left here. Um, and if you open it up and you look within the stalk, you can see that there's a lot of um, desiccation up in inside of the stalk there, which is causing uh, the entire plant to die down. And these plants were actually pretty well lodged within the field. So again, I'm going to send these into the, to the lab, have them uh, look at it and definitely um, determine whether this is what we think it is. But again, it's showing very common symptoms of rhizoctonia root rot. Um, in terms of scouting, it's best to scout for this um, at the beginning stages of emergence and then all the way up through the very first and beginning stages of reproduction. Uh, you want to look for plants in the field that are showing any sort of poor emergence, anything that's showing any slowed early growth, any appearance of lodging, so any plants that are laying down within the field, or any sort of yellowing in the plants where we see here where this leaf tissue is already starting to die. So again, I just wanted to let you know that this is a, an issue that we're starting to see here in South Texas, very common with our wet soils right now, so be on the lookout for it, and I hope this was beneficial. Happy scouting. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.